Hello everyone. Let's provide the complete solution to this equation. X squared plus plus X to the power of 3 equals 36. Okay, um, it is expected that the one with the highest power appears first. So we write x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 36. Okay, so from here, what do we do? We can express what we have on the right in the form of this. Yes, so that we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 27 plus 9. 27 plus 9 will give us 36. And now x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 is equal to 27 is 3 to the power of 3 plus 9 is 3 to the power of 2. Now if you compare the left hand side and the right hand side, you should be able to know the value of x. I mean the real value of x. But since we are solving it completely, we will be having other values. So no need for comparison at the moment. Okay, so now let's take this to the left and take this to the left. So we'll have x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. Then plus here we have x squared minus 3 to the power of 2. Everything is now equal to 0. What do I do? Remember that here we have difference of cube, okay? Let me use a. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. So I'm going to express this in this form. And then this is difference of two squares, okay? So what do we do? We have um, a minus b, that will now be x minus 3. Then a squared is x squared plus ab will be x times 3, and that is 3x, plus b squared, that will be 3 squared, and it is 9. Okay, then plus, I'm going over to this, and here I have difference of 2 squares. So that will be x minus 3 into x minus 3. Then we equate to 0. What do I do? Sorry, this is plus. One is negative, the other one is positive. Now, we have difference, I mean, we have common factors. So, x minus 3 will come out as a common factor. Then, I have x squared plus 3x plus 9. Then, plus, this is already out, so I have this left. That is x plus 3. Then close this and equate to 0. And by the way, I can deal with these two because we are to add both of them. So we have x minus 3. Then I have x squared. 3x plus x is 4x. Then 9 plus 3 is 12. Then I have 0. Now we apply um, 0 product rule. So that x minus 3 is equal to 0. Or x squared plus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. From here, x will be equal to 0 plus 3. Or on this side, x Okay, I think I'll get back to this x squared plus 4x plus 12 
is still zero i'll get back to this right now from here our x is equal to three and we now have a real solution now let's go back to this this is quadratic mm -hmm. and we're going to use the formula to deal with this the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a now our x will be b is 4 so we have minus 4 there plus or minus b squared that will be 4 squared minus 4 times a times 12 because a is 1 and c is 12 then everything is over 2 because 2 times 1 is still 2 okay so we continue now x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 12 is 48 so we're dividing this by 2 now our x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus then 16 minus 48 is minus 32 and that is over 2 what do i do x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 32 multiply by square root of negative 1 what i have done is to pick out the negative right so that we can find the square root of 32 so if we continue with this then x will be minus 4 plus or minus this 32 here is the same thing as 16 times 2 then multiply by square root of negative 1 we are still dividing all through by 2 okay okay so x will now be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 then we have root 2 then multiply by square root of negative 1 is imaginary we divide this by 2 now x is minus 4 plus or minus 4i root 2 because 4 here can multiply i so we divide all of this by 2 so that x will be equal to 2 can go there and the same 2 will go there so we have minus 2 plus or minus 2i root 2 so what are we saying we are saying that x is equal to minus 2 plus 2i root 2 or minus 2 minus 2i root 2. Let's bring the three solutions together so that x is equal to 3. Call this our x1. x2 is equal to minus 2 plus 2i root 2 then our x3 is minus 2 minus 2i root 2 so these are the three solutions to the equation